Hey, ha. Hey, it's me again. Made of tears. How are you? Um, hope you're having an awesome day. This is one of three or four, a few videos that I'm putting out today. This is going to be a friendly Friday that I should have done yesterday, but I'll do it as a social Saturday. Um, some new subs I want to do shout outs for. That's Grizzly Taco. Uh, Pam Hicks, it's Pam and Rick, their siblings. Some pretty funny stuff they put out there. Um, they have almost nine, or they have almost 900 subs. They need a thousand so they can do their giveaway. Who can't use money, right? I mean, I've forgotten what that's like. I'm so poor, I can't pay attention. So get over there, like, sub them. And uh, now I want to do an apology because. I messed your name up on one of my previous shout outs. Guns for Fun, C A, Jana and Justin. It looked like Cajun Justin. So hang on. Okay, it looked like Cajun Justin. So I apologize for that. My bad. Um, so I won't I won't screw it up again. Okay, now these are some big channels, and I don't know if y'all are subscribed to them or not, but I think they're really good channels to sub to. Hang on, let me get my Christmas hat off. I think they're really decent channels to sub to. A lot of good information. Um, if you're a homesteader or a prepper, or survivalist, um, pretty good stuff. And they were, like I said, they're some of the bigger channels. Canadian Prepper, he's really good. He does a lot of tactical reviews um, and survival gear. Uh, good channel. Then there's uh, Backcountry Preps, and uh, he just does some out of the box thinking. He poses his thoughts, and then what do you think about it? Um, on the same token, that's Red October. Awesome guy. Um, get over and check him out, too. Okay, it was uh, hard on my knees bending down like that, so I'm back. I had to get a bench. So, let's see. Uh, Southern Prepper and Prepper Nurse One. He's another one that does a lot of talking, and he blogs about what's going on around him, how his off grid's going. Uh, Patriot Nurse, she's awesome. She looks at things from a health wise or a medical side so she's got she's got a really good channel too uh, backcountry preps oh pastor Joe Fox from Viking preparedness um, pretty good he's here uh, Missouri Arkansas border in the Ozarks doing good stuff um, they're doing the off-grid community and uh, they do training. He holds training classes. Uh, they they do off-grid gardening, self-sustaining gardening, just a whole lot of everything. So check check out Pastor Joe Fox and Viking Preparedness. Now, if you're into homesteading, Brad and Christopher, Big Family Homestead, they are always a ray of sunshine. They're so bright and so cheerful, like all the time family friendly you don't have to worry about young ears and children because they always keep it family friendly and they're always in a good mood I mean every morning I look forward to seeing what they've put out because yeah it's just feel-good videos and they do I think it's a one acre homestead and a big family they are a huge family so go check them out uh, then we got let's see backcountry preps Deep South Homestead, Danny and Wanda, very good people, and they are down in like Mississippi. They're way down south, and uh, they do a little bit of everything. Farming, Danny shows his uh, tools knowledge and farming and hunting and shows you things that he's uh, repurposed and reused for his homestead. Uh, canning, just all kinds of stuff. Uh, great couple. And again, family friendly. Uh, so if you're, you know, want to keep it wholesome, and uh, I know there's some really cool channels out there, but they're not always family friendly. So 
deep south south home try that again deep south homestead with Danny and Wanda it's really good go check them out we have uh, Appalachia homestead very good channel um, they do everything I mean a little bit of everything she's got canning and she explains you know like all the safety uh, she's got chickens goats cows a little bit of everything and she does giveaways too um, go check them out she's another one that's very down to earth very friendly great channel and then uh, let's see I did Canadian preppers big family homestead southern prepper uh, Patriot nurse oh okay here's one for that's not so family oriented and it's not about uh, prepping or well it kind of is about prepping but it's a snarky ironic satire uh, three-minute humor and yeah it is a uh, adult friendly so you don't want your young ears listening and that's a uh, Dave Acton checking in does a lot of political stuff but he also makes you think about in these short three minutes uh, what to put in your bug out bag depending on your location and I think he's out on the west coast so uh, go check him out and like I said that that would be a over 18 not a PG rating for all the ones with kids and small ears so yeah that was, that's a whole bunch um, I want to shout out to Grizzly Taco and Mike and Chaz welcome aboard and I love you guys this channel I'm trying to get caught up on everything but the more I subscribe to and some of us put lots of videos out it's not gardening season I didn't figure I would be doing any videos but I am so yeah my basketball videos you guys don't have to watch those that's for my son and the team and some of the other parents since this is our boys last year so yeah I won't be heartbroken if you don't watch or comment on those that's fine and I did put those in a separate uh, folder on here I think that is it so go over to cool kid survival MD outdoors reviews and silver picker Oop, gotta pick it up silver picker um, MD outdoor reviews they are uh, doing a Christmas giveaway to give to the veterans that's freaking awesome and people are donating uh, gear and uh, gift cards and all kinds of stuff knives ferro rods camping survival gear they're donating all kinds of stuff to this giveaway so go check that out and get into it and they're donating anonymous donors are donating to the veterans so that's just a double win-win okay I'm out uh, have an awesome weekend what's left of it we're halfway through it's so cold I gotta go inside um, think a veteran always remember our boys and girls deployed around the world who can't be home and do something kind for a stranger